Now, let's see what we can find to eat in this garden. Here, as you can see, is a tomato. Almost ready for plucking off. First, these tomatoes are green, then they turn a yellowy orange, deep orange, and then, moving over here, they're ready to come off and be eaten. Let's pop that one there and use it later tonight. So, plenty of tomatoes here waiting to be eaten. These have all been grown in pots, not in the garden as such. Now here, we have the herb garden. And herbs flavour the food. So people like to flavour their pork with sage. They like to flavour their lamb with rosemary. And they like to flavour all sorts of dishes with thyme, T-H-Y-M. And into lots of soups, we put a bay leaf, the shiny bay leaf over there. So those are the herbs that we put into our food. Let's see what other sorts of food we can find. I'll just make this smaller again. That's better. Right, so we're crossing the garden, walking across the lawn, which is the grass, which should be weed free but is not. And now we're walking across a small wood chip path and we're moving plants aside plus a young silver birch tree and here we are. This is something else that can be eaten in this garden. These are figs. Those figs aren't yet ready to be eaten, but if I look higher up the tree, ah, there is one that is ready to be plucked and to be eaten. Maybe I will take that off and, oh, I think something's already been eaten it. I think an insect has been there and has been nibbling away. So let's put that on the ground and let the insects continue to eat it. Um, there are other ones waiting to be eaten and I shall eat those when they're ready. Let's go and find some more food to eat in this garden. So now we're walking past the lavender. Aha! One, two, three bees. I'll show you one bee. Can we see that? Yes, we can see that one bee. There's the bee hopping from flower to flower, getting all, there's another one, getting all the nectar they can. And here, you just saw him briefly, is a butterfly doing exactly the same thing. Now, let us walk on through this arch. Now, this isn't food for me, but this could be food for the birds. This is a really big sunflower. And here are all the sunflower seeds. And having said it's possibly not food for me, people do eat sunflower seeds. Down here, we have got courgettes. Let me show you a courgette. Oh, pick it up. There it is waiting. Let me take a leaf away. That's better. There is the courgette. And we can fry those. I think frying is usually the best thing. And we can put them into soups. Here is chard, which is very tasty. And over here, Let's go past this big <laughs> sunflower. It's so big and heavy that it's leaning over. It can't stand upright anymore. Oh, here is a tiny, tiny little lettuce that needs to grow bigger before I can eat it. But let me just step inside. Can you see all of this netting? This netting is to stop rabbits and deer and foxes getting out at my vegetables because they do like to come into the garden. 
Ah, here, this is what I'm looking for. If I get hold of those leaves, let's get hold of those leaves. And if I pull, 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 and there is a beetroot. And I can eat that for my supper tonight. I really love beetroot. They're very sweet. I'm just going to put that on the garden and I'm going to put the netting back to keep out the animals. Let's see what else we have to eat. Over here we have the runner beans. Now if you look closely and I will show you the runner beans go round and round and round the pole. Look how they tangle up the pole. Can you see them climbing up the pole until they get to the top? Now, at the moment, they've got red flowers. Those red flowers will turn into beans. And here we have one that's already turned into a bean. They're called runner beans. Why they are called runner beans, I have no idea. Maybe because they run up and up and up and up the pole, who knows. Now, let's go over here. Now, this is rhubarb. Rhubarb is a plant that comes in the spring. Ooh. And we eat this little bit of it. We do not eat the leaves, I think they're not good for us, but the stem is really quite delicious. These bushes had black currants on them, and these small plants here, these had strawberries. Now, they have multiplied, so I'm going to have even more strawberries next year. But these are still giving me raspberries. Now, if we look there, can you see the raspberries? They are absolutely delicious. Now, walk down the garden a bit further and we come to a really small tree which is so heavy with apples, it's completely bending over. Let's see if these apples are ready for taking off the tree. Are you ready? Oh, yes, that one's ready. So I will take that inside with me. That came off very, very easily. Now, there's another apple tree over here. Different sort of apple. Let's see if these apples are ready to come off the tree. Nope, that does not want to come off. This had apricots on it. They, not apricots, it had green gauges, what am I talking about? And over here, if we look up, we can see a plum purple plum and again I think the insects have been at this purple plum let's pull it off there it is it's a beautiful color love the color but I think I'm going to leave that one on the ground too